So in this problem, it's asking us to solve the following system of equations using a, the elimination method. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to try to, um, like we did in the last video, we're going to want to try to add or subtract these. Um, and I take a look right now, and you can see that if I added these straight down, if I added the 2x and the 5y or the 9x and the 9y or the 8y, nothing is going to eliminate here. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead and erase this, we need to try to multiply the top and the bottom by something to uh, to get these to match up so that they will eliminate. So we're going to, I'm going to take this over to the side for right now. We're going to go over here and we're going to talk about the idea of a least common multiple. So least common multiple. And I'm going to show you a pretty slick way on the calculator to do this. But it, we're um, just for the sake of this problem, I'm going to go ahead and say, let's just decide we're going to try to eliminate the x's. So let's list some multiples of these two numbers, 2 and 5. So we have multiples of 2 would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20, right? Some multiples of 5 would be 5, 10, 15, 20, so on and so forth. And we can see that these have a few in common. Take a look at this. You see that they both have the multiple of 10 in common, and they also both have the multiple of 20 in common. But the least common multiple is going to be the lower of the two. So we want to make, uh, we know that the least common multiple between 2 and 5 would be 10. I'm going to go back over and talk about my original problem because uh, how does that factor into what we have going on over here? So let's go ahead and rewrite these. We have 2x um, we have 2x minus 9y. So minus 9y equals 8. And we have negative 5x plus 8y equals negative 20. And now what I'm going to do is I need to multiply both the top and the bottom equation to make these the same number, both one being positive and one being negative. So 2 times what? Basically what I want to do is make both of these the LCM. So what is the LCM between 2 and 5? We said it was 10. So I'm going to multiply the top one by 5 and we're going to multiply the bottom one by 2 and we're going to multiply everything through by that. So we're going to multiply it through here, here, and here. So 5 times 2x is going to be, we're going to get a 10x. And now if we take a look, when we do 5 times negative 9y, this is, we are going to get a, uh, 5 times negative 9y is a negative 45y. And then 5 times 8 is a positive 40. So again, just a heads up, what we did is we multiplied the 5 in here. Now we're going to do the same thing with the 2 in the second equation. We're going to multiply the 2 by the negative 5x, and that's going to give us a negative 10x. 2 times 8y is a positive 16y, and then 2 times negative 20 is negative 40. Now you can tell you did this right because you see that our x's are going to eliminate. If after this step nothing eliminates, you know we made a mistake somewhere. So our x is going to eliminate. And now we have a negative 45y plus 16 is a negative 29y. And then 40 minus 40 is 0. And then divide both sides by negative 29. These cancel out. And we get y is equal to 0 divided by 29 is 0. Now, remember that the point of intersection is or the solution to this equation is where they intersect. So we found a y value, but now we have to find the x. So what we're going to do is we're going to take either one of our original equations. I'm going to take, uh, let's look over here. I'm going to use 2x minus 9y equals 8. So let's go ahead and recopy that. 2x minus 9y equals 8. And I know where I have y. We know that y is equal to 0. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in, and it's going to be 2x minus 9, and then here's where we're going to put the 0, and then that's equal to 8. And again, negative 9 times 0 is going to be a 0, so we get 2x equals 8. 
and now I divide both sides by 2, and I get x is equal to 4. So the solution is going to be the point 4, 0. That's the point of intersection.